Hello, welcome to the Monday edition of Real Talk Radio, streaming live today. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had a dry throat. Uh, streaming live today on DLive and Twitch. It'll be uploaded later to my archive channel at youtube.com. Gonna do something different today. Uh, gonna play some wrestling. I normally do GTA in the GTA category, but today we're going to do something different. It's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Happy long weekend, everyone. And if you're new to the show, uh, D Live chat is on the top left of the screen. There will be no Twitch chat because uh, generally there's nobody there, but it will appear in the intermission screen. There'll be a break after the first hour, approximately. Notifications appear on the screen for DLive and Streamlabs.com. If you want to help the show in any way, a donation is greatly appreciated. You can also donate with lemons, ice creams, ninjaginis. I have a leaderboard on the top right corner. And we're going to play... WWE 2K19 for a bit, and then we're going to go back to a couple of older games. We're going to have Kevin Nash for squaring off against Goldberg on Monday Nitro. Turn. It's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It's the NWO. Big time matchup. There we go. Tag team action underway. First match of the night of five matches for Nitro. Waiting for it to load up, and we'll be ready to ready to get started. Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm your host, Cat, and this is Real Talk Radio. Censored version of this show will be available later on my archive channel, youtube.com. 
it is not streaming there today. This is a DLive Twitch exclusive. All right, I think we're ready to start. Monday Nitro. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. This could be a quite an exciting match. Waiting for our opponents to arrive. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Goldberg.
Goldberg took out Ben DDP. Look who's uh, here! DDP the is next. There we go. Bang, DDP. From the Jersey Shore, weighing in at 248 pounds, Diamond Dallas Page! Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <coughs> Feel the bang! That was embarrassing. Don't ever do it's it again. DDT. That was pretty good. Diamond control. Dallas Page. Goldberg has a sordid history with the NWO, especially with founder Kevin Nash. When the two clashed at Starcade 98, Goldberg was undefeated, and his World Heavyweight Championship was on the line. Goldberg had an unbelievable undefeated streak of 173-0. That all came to a shocking end Goldberg at Starcade 98, right thanks now. to Scott Hall. He hasn't really and a got taser to the gates yet. These superstars are about oh. to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. Once again, I'd like to correct unfavorable journalism from my colleagues. Kevin Nash had zero involvement with Scott Hall's attack on Goldberg. Nash was on the canvas trying to recruit. Uh, really, Corey? Yep. That, that, that's how you describe the end of one of the greatest undefeated streaks in sports entertainment? Yep. Well, I'm sure Goldberg has different thoughts on the matter. There we go. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned. Ah, oh, he takes them down finally. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. And he throws them the out of the rope. Over the rope. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation and because he was fighting for a WWE ring. contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino, there it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, oh. that's the impact. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> that's one way to get in the ring. It was surreal to see Goldberg back in WWE. The, the energy and intensity there. that followed him his entire career returned to Monday Night Raw, and it brought him to fast lane against Universal Champion Kevin Owens. Goldberg was an unca... Here's a cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. Wow. Revisit Goldberg out. versus Kevin Owens. It is absurd that KO had defended the defended Universal BDP Championship against in. Goldberg. Owens didn't have the proper time to prepare, and Goldberg didn't climb the ranks in order to properly earn a title shot. Uh, then you'll love this, Corey. Go. Goldberg is the only superstar to be crowned WCW World Heavyweight Champion, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and the WWE Universal Champion. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Paul drops him. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! And throws, him, throws a toothpick at him. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens oh, and got Patterson, him in the corner. Stevens and Bachwinkle, Double team. the Texas Outlaws, oh. the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. Oops, oops, when you're part out. of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. This might be it! Oh, my! Beautiful technique. 
kick to the Oh, brutal form. Tag team competition dates back all the Logan way to the early back in. 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. Goldberg I think it's too close to call, in. but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And he knocks them team down again. You don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Goldberg possesses immeasurable intensity and devastating power. We're looking at one of the strongest forces to ever step foot in a ring. But what has driven him in the most is being a Watching superhero Monday night for his son. On Real Talk Byron Radio alluded to Goldberg's Monday motivations for his return. For millions day, of people around the world, point. Goldberg is a real-life superhero. His return was able to inspire a new generation in the WWE universe. Even I got caught up in the whirlwind, feel-good story of Goldberg's return to WWE. The yeah, man is, him. in many ways, superhuman. Goldberg's waiting in the corner. Waiting to strike, no doubt. Not sure where he gets nope. his energy, but it is a sight to behold. And here we go. Kevin Nash sees his opening. Ooh, to the face Taking again. Off the here. And it's moves there like we go. Make him so dangerous. There we go. Goldberg setting him up. Here it comes, Byron. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. We're going to see the... Jack Hammer. He's going for the pin. A little too early. Wow, Goldberg sure knows how to get into his opponent's head. It's not looking good for Scott Hall. He has something big planned. Oh man, Goldberg is really feeling the pressure. Oh, oh he almost takes his head off. Nash is in unfamiliar position right now and must turn this around or he's going to be in big trouble. Some WWE fans wouldn't agree, but this is just too much showboating from Goldberg here. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team Kevin matches Nash should have two man. referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, About making okay, sure teams man. follow the rules and do not engage in potentially... Oh, Scott Hall may have it. This just ain't gonna do it. No way. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oh, he connects. Face. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. He'd be smart to stay put there. Out five. He goes. He's taking a chance. Incoming. Oh, he nails him. Both men are down right now. Look at this. Wait a minute. Oh, Eric Bischoff. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Oh, it's exactly the ringside. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Watch out here. And it appears Goldberg is starting to hit the wall physically now. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. This is all big that part of town right now. Just in reach of the rope. Right. Not sure why he would go for the submission so close to the rope. Definitely not the best strategy I've ever seen. Tapped into an energy source and he's going strong. Kevin Ash is down. Here is Goldberg in position now. I don't think he should get up. Ooh. Here is Goldberg in position now. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy mounts of punishment, look up! Spear! Spear! But can he follow up here? Out of nowhere. There. Yeah, let's take another look. Goes down hard. This could do it! One. Two! It's gonna take a lot more two. than that to keep him down. That's too early for that. Hall's on fire and nobody can contain oh, him. 
Oh, here we go. Jack Hammer time. This could be the beginning of the end. Goldberg down with the Jack Hammer. That might have done it, Cole. His shoulders are down. One, two, three. And he wins just in time as it. Kevin Nash tries to go for a break. The winners are Goldberg and Tidy P. Here are your show. winners, Goldberg Labor Day. Dallas Page. Big win here to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Time for the next match here. We have a great match coming up next. Going to settle the score. Lex Luger versus Vader. from the apron. Vertical suplex. Nice. Vader was ready for him. Ooh, just dropped. Oh, man, incredible impact. He's got the shoulders down, and there's a kick out of one. 
That's going to take more than that. Yeah. Vader is looking at this right now. Is he done? Wow, he got out of the way. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oh, he's not going to get him down that way. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Oh, impactful slam. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about oh, it, Oh, he's Cole. going up. He's going up. Boom. Superplex! Man! If I was Lex, I would be planning my next attack instead of playing to the crowd. But hey, that's just me. He's taking him down. Where now, Vader? <laughs> Vader struggling some here. I fully expected to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. He's doing exactly what he didn't want to do here. He's letting his opponent right back into this match. Look at Lex Luger making his move. Back now. Lex Luger has got something. Nailed it. Incredible. That's it. Lex Luger just hit. He can't he argue with the results. It. The awesome power, the athleticism, the physique. Lex Luger is the only competitor in history who can be called. Go Look, he could do it here. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. It's going to take more than that. And Vader says, not this time. Oh, oh he takes his head off. He's a guy that can flip. He's got him covered. He's a long way from a got three a count, count, I can tell you that. So resourceful. There is certainly a long list when it comes to the physical attributes of Lex Luger. The total package is also never short on self-confidence. And you can't really blame him. When you're talking about someone who has it all. Oh, no. Here we uh -oh. go. Choke go slam to hell. Mastered on size choke slam. This one's over. And Vader wins that one. What a way to win a singles match. This wasn't enough to beat the man they call Vader. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time. I guess he ain't messing around. Vader won that one, for sure. This wasn't enough. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening bell. Can't complain about the effort, technical proficiency, or result. You're watching Real Talk Radio streaming live today here on D Live Twitch. And it'll be uploaded later to my archive channel here is your at YouTube.com. Thank you for watching Real Talk the Radio. More to come. Wrestling from that's the classic. Gonna get all night long. I can't wait to see On the rest of the Labor Day. Long weekend. Still to come here tonight, folks. There's your results. On with the next match. Now don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. Up next, we got Randy Savage versus Scott Hall in a one-on-one -on -one match here on Monday Nitro. Here we go, we're ready to start.
one of the greatest performers in the history of WWE. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Here we go, everybody. Intensity redefined. Macho Man, one of the all-time greats. A role model, an inspiration for countless WWE superstar. Where he'll ever again WrestleMania 3. The Macho Man with Ricky Steamboat for the Intercontinental Championship still argue to this day the greatest match of all time. A true legend, one of the all-time greats. Absolutely phenomenal in the ring. Synonymous with WWE, WrestleMania. It could be argued that the Macho Man has inspired the entire current generation of WWE. All right. And his opponent, Here comes Scott Hall with Eric Bischoff and of the NWO. The NWO. Okay, the match is about to start. When you enter the ring with Scott Oops. Hall, you're only a toothpick flick away from having a rough night. Hey, Michael. Hey, yo. That was terrible, Byron. And this is one of those matches oh. where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Scott Hall's influence on sports entertainment has been massive. You could say he was the fire starter that ignited the Monday Night Wars. Yeah, I'll agree. Scott Hall is responsible for changing the landscape of this industry forever. Plain and simple. Oh, this is dangerous right here. You can't hey, he takes his hat off. Over. Slow getting out of the starting gate. He's going up. Set him up nope, for not quite. Here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. Ooh, what impact. Randy Savage starting to breathe a little heavier now. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. Ouch. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Larian goes down hard. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. 
another lariat. Oh, look at just. No, oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. <laughs> oh, man. Just laying the boots to him. Such a tough target. Harsh impact. This might Takes be him down oh again. My. Oh boy, he is rolling. They call Ooh, him the yeah. man for a reason. <laughs> yes. Looking banged up here, guys. Oh, and he just and Eric Bischoff sticking his greedy nose in there. Oh, he takes out Bischoff. Oh, shows no mercy. We've got a this DQ. Scott Hall. Nailed Macho Man back at the head with a chair. That match has been thrown out. Time for the bell. Oh, guys, what an incredible treat. <laughs> Here comes the rowdy one, Roddy Piper. Making his way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Legendary Rowdy Roddy Piper. WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all time greats. Rest in peace, Rowdy Piper. Yeah, the unmistakable hot tempered personality, fiery, volatile style inside the ring. Iron Hot Rod pretty much summed up your and I. And here comes the Hitman, Brett, the Hitman Hart. Here comes the Hitman! And his opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett, the Hitman Hart! I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call her a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxon. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. There we go. The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. When I looked at the card for tonight, <laughs> this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. He 
and Roddy Piper throws him back in the ring. Sick to the forehead. He's going to work on his legs now. Oh, nasty impact. Going to pick him apart. Small package. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, he's struggling a bit here. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Oh man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. But if you're counting him out now, you haven't been paying attention. He has more resolve oh. than just about anybody on the roster. Oh boy, he is rolling. Better stay right where he is. Takes him down in a major way, too. Can he score the pin? And he gets out at three. Out. The hitman staying alive in this match. So resilient. If history's shown us anything when it comes to Bret Hart, it's that an opponent doesn't want to try to match technical skill with the man Rubbing called his face the in excellence the of execution. We have Bret Hart on the defensive. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has oh. plenty of energy in that body of his. <laughs> I wouldn't look too much into this right now. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. Corey, you brought something up earlier, and it needs to be emphasized. The superstar does not want to try and outmaneuver the hitman. Bret Hart knows where he is in the ring at all times. So if I had a match against Bret Hart, I wouldn't put things like go hold for hold or try to match grapples with him on the top of my list of things to do. In fact, I wouldn't even consider such things against the Hitman. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. Oh, my goodness, crushing it! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Ooh, what impact. Setting up for the... That'll hinder your modeling career. Can he end it here? This is Roddy Piper's chance. Roddy Piper doesn't play clean. He's not going to like He's this. He's a dirty player. <laughs> Counter here. No, there's the reversal. Nope. Vicious attack. Oh, and he connects. There's no oh, reason boy. to move to move like that. Come on, tough enough. Finish it. The Hitman has the sharpshooter cinched in. Excellently executed. Oh, we got a real Here's a break. chance to win this. Is the Hitman having fun or what? Oh, oh man. When this guy's on, look out. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the uh -oh. win? Uh-oh. And will this be a digging game? Brad's not going to fall for that a second time. Early. And it's reversed. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Old rival from the uh, old days. 
Oh, continuing to punish them. Working on his wrist oh now. Goodness, crushing it. Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. That's how you wear down your opponent. Boom. <laughs> He's choking him. Oh, come on. How can this be legal? This could lead to it. He's got him down. This is it. And Brett quickly Goes gets the two. shoulder up. How'd he do that? What a stomp. Good grief. There we go. In the center of the ring. Executed by the hitman. No getting out of it now. No, he breaks free. Look out, he breaks free. Great job by him there, but he's still in a tough spot, Cole. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, no. Hold oh, on. Face destroyed. Here's his moment, Michael. Come on, Bret Hart. Shoulders on the back. I don't know too many other Get guys that would have been able to kick out of that. He's got some more fight in him, guys. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. Small package. Beautiful technique. And there's the cover. Two. Well, I can't believe he had the energy to the kick two. out of that. Wow, I am impressed. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. Oh, what a forearm! That was dirty. This is his opportunity to win this thing. He thinks he One, has it. Two. Two. He gets the Never two. say die attitude out of him. Can you believe this? Oh, and he missed. Well, Lands right on it. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Oh! And Roddy Piper slips out of harm's way. Cross body. Whoa! Down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Yeah, if he hits goes this, for a third. Has the sharpshooter since possibly in. final time. Absolutely executed. Wow! I'm just as surprised as you guys are. You'd think one of these times this move would actually end the match. And he submits. Bret Hart wins that one with the sharpshooter. And Bret Hart is your winner. Bret Hart defeats Rowdy Piper. What a match. Up and down the whole way from the get-go. That match is worth another look. Here we go. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. Bret Hart is victorious is on Monday Night Show. The Hitman Playing Grant and playing uh, WWE 2K19 right here on the line. The they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. On to the next match. And now...
Here we go. Let's get to it. Can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have gotten lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. And now it's time for Sting to approach the ring. Face off against Hulk Hogan and possibly the whole NWO. I can't believe he's here! On a mission of justice! And his opponent, accompanied by Diamond Dallas Page. From every man's nightmare, weighing in at 259 pounds, the man called Steve. When a man's heart is full of deceit, it dies and a dark shadow falls over his soul. This is Sting. From the rafters to the ring, there is only one. He's pointing that bat oh, right at Hogan himself. Time for retribution. The vigilante justice of Sting has come to WWE. And it's time for the bell. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. You know, even though the title is not on the line, and this is still an important match for Shan. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Flash. Oh, brutal. Nailed it. This one on one match is Hogan versus Sting. The Monday Night Show. Slam! Vicious. Penny predicament. An easy kick out from Sting. Definitely has his work cut out for him. Effectively using the knee. Lariat! Oh, they're going at it now. It's just Sting a fight. A little here. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Oh. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Sting gets out of it. Oh, and he hits the ropes across the ribs. Oh, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. And he takes him out outside the ring. But he's got to win inside the ring. A risk a count out. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. 
Sting might want to rethink his approach here. Himself here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road. Working for on here. the shoulder Nothing right to worry now. About. It looks to me like he took his foot off the gas there for a moment. When that happens, you run the risk of letting your opponent back into the match. Oh boy, he is rolling. And there's the reversal from Stan. He takes him down. Vicious strike. Double axe handle smash. Takes him down in a major way, too. He goes for the cover. Too early. Digging deep for a kick out. We're going to take more than that. What a strike. Bam, what a slam. I don't know if Sting can take much more of this. He's got to find a way to survive. Tonight may not be his night, guys. I'm not used to seeing this. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm his opponent, I'm thinking about putting him out of his misery sooner than later. <clears throat> he might have. You gotta believe this one's over. Uh -oh. It's like the end of the road for Sting. Will lose. <sighs> Just when you thought he had nothing left. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, the ref got pulled out. DDP is going to be ejected. Hogan won that for sure. Right there is why DDP's got a warning. He's going to get ejected if so he interferes long. again. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. He's not giving up that easy. Back in 2011, the city of Atlanta hosted one of the biggest events in sports entertainment history, WrestleMania 27. That was a tear the features clean off your face. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this. Oh, right to the side of the face. That's what he was looking for. Here we go. Is he done? Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Uh-oh. Stinger with a scorpion death drop. What a comeback. He has him right where he wants him. I don't think he should get up. in the bad part of town. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at this! I think it's safe to say Sting is feeling pretty good right now. Way too early. 
Backhander finds its target. He doesn't look too eager to get up, and I don't blame him. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Leaving himself open uh -oh. here. Yeah, guys, I and can't he's think in the of bad part of town, to right too. Now. From the top rope. Oh! Superplex! Oh, man, did you see the impact? The end may be near, folks. This is Superplex not where he wants from the to top be rope. He may get the three count right there. Two! And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Sting's taunts have a sting all their own. This might be it. Oh, my. Goes for Despite the pen. having an impressive spot in this week's power rankings, I'm told this superstar isn't all concerned with things like that. And he got a near fall out of it. Close call. Oh, boy, he is rolling. <laughs> oh, man. And out he goes. Taking a chance here. Look out. Right to the chest. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Not today. Oh, low blow. He should have been disqualified. Wow, what a gritty performance. Sting got the worst end of that. Got the shoulders down. Two, three. He should have been disqualified. The, it's over. the referee it's must be on the take. <laughs> now let's take a look back at some of the great action. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here is your winner, and that's a win to start off the night. And that, that ends this any indication of what edition of Monday Nitro here on Real Talk Radio. I'm going for a break. I will be back in about five minutes or so as I change over to a different game. The wait is finally over, folks. So strap in. So I will be back event. very shortly. Singles action on tap right now.
Welcome back to the show, everyone. We're moving on now with Monday night, with uh, the Monday night uh, Raw is War. We got Shawn Michaels facing off against The Undertaker in one of f six matches. Let's get started playing 2K16. Raw is War here on Real Talk Radio on this Monday afternoon, Labor Day weekend, 2020. This program will be in the replay for three days, 14 days on Twitch, and it will be uploaded later to YouTube, my archive channel, Real Talk Radio. Links are in the description. superstar just has that look in his eye and this is one of those times the athleticism on display in this upcoming match is going to be unreal The Dead Man, Undertaker, facing off against Shawn Michaels on Raw is War. Hope you enjoy the show. Playing 2K. What a night we have in store for you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michael Cole alongside Jerry the King Lawler on what should be an amazing night of action. Yeah, and I don't know which match I'm looking forward to the most, Michael. But in my what opinion, I do know the older games are far superior. Kicking this thing off. You said it, Michael. This is a perfect way to get things going. Attacking from the top. The strikes have a little. He wasted too much time on that one. I think we got a moment here. And for Shawn Michaels, what can you tell us? You know, King, a lot of times I think Undertaker wins his matches before they even begin. Oh, he certainly is intimidating, Cole, especially when he rides in on that motorcycle. A ton Takes of talent, a ton of ability. Certainly someone to keep an eye on. Oh, and he eats the canvas. Undertaker's not playing around. I know it's, uh, the older games, they don't have all the glitches as the new ones have, and 2K20 was just a horrendous mess. Undertaker showing no remorse still, in the early goings. As of, t as of today, I still haven't bought that game. Oh, what a close Refused line. to waste money on it. Of course, Undertaker comes into this match with a decade game of WWE of the experience series. under his belt, which has to help. And the headbutt connects. Oh, the Undertaker is a force within the ring. <clears throat> the 
more uh, advances they've added to the game, the worse it got. Just keep throwing mud at, at the wall, and eventually it looks like shit. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. And that's why it's called high risk, ladies and gentlemen. 2K WWE 2K20 was considered the worst game of the year. A decade of experience, Cole? Sounds to me like it's more of a decade of dominance. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look out what's going on here. And he fails to connect with anything that time. And the commentary Man, that was some and, uh, miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. Time low. Now it's his turn to go up. There Maybe can not. Be one top dog here in the WD. Watch out! Wow, what an incredible crossbody! Cat-like reflexes. And it's the Undertaker, able to break free. We're looking at complete domination here. Extra slow getting back to his base here. When we talk about the Heartbreak Kid, you have to mention Sweet Chin Music. Oh, yeah. It's simply one of the most jaw-dropping finishing moves we've ever seen. And he makes it to the ropes. Close to the ropes. these competitors have so much resolve it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down a counter by the dead man oh you gotta respect undertaker's cat-like quickness he can pounce at any time oh no choke slam to hell uh oh the choke slam uh oh is right this one's over he's gonna put him away early is this it the last ride Huge moves, you know, Michael. From this position, and believe me, I'm glad. And the shoulders up. And now. he didn't That's quite a get him. Down. Nice. HBK just won't go away. For a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. And here comes the heartbreak kid. Trust me. I know what this feels like. HBK is considered by many as the greatest performer our business has ever known. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Oh, The Undertaker wants some air here. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Jerry, I've said this before. When the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, lands sweet chin music, all you have to say is good night. Simply put, it's awesome. Well, you're right. We have to give it to Shawn Michaels here. Sweet Chin Music is without a shadow of a doubt one of the most thrilling finishers in sports entertainment history. And it just doesn't look good. It can lay any opponent out for the one, two, three. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. He's getting up. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. How impressive was that? Just sending your foe crashing to the canvas. Crashing oh, is the he's right gonna word. fly. Crash and burn. Look out below. Oh, he, Look out. Looking back, he it seems that, that one as Shawn Michaels came into his he own. So did move. WWE's monthly pay-per-view event. I remember calling the action alongside Mr. McMahon for the no-holds-barred match at In Your Both House versus down. Diesel. Undertaker's now that was up. a brawl. The prosthetic leg of WWE Hall of Famer Mad Dog Vashon was even used as a weapon. It was pure chaos. That will leave a knot on your head the size of a baseball.
Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. The Undertaker is certainly not someone to sleep on. Jerry, you're talking about Shawn Michaels and pay corner. Of course, that's when he came into his own. He's Mr. WrestleMania. Another all-time classic was his one-hour Iron Man match against Bret Hart for the WWE title. At WrestleMania 12, Shawn's boyhood dream became reality. I can't even guess how many superstars that match has inspired. He's going up. Dead man has got him on the top rope. We've got a great Friday night plan for you tonight. This won't end well. Oh no! I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Textbook offense here. This one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. Gonna work on the neck a little. WWE fans watching this match. Oh boy, oh, here we go. We want to say He's gonna to end this. All the countries, even Manila, where I use their envelope. Time Manila's for the last the ride. Straight to hell. One, two, and he breaks two and a half. Forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Shawn Michaels still has some fight left. Nice reversal by Michaels. Yeah, how many times have we seen that from HBK over the years? Well, I've never seen him do that before. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Got him in the corner. It's a slug fest. Thinking to avoid that. This isn't where the Undertaker wants to be. Shawn Michaels using his speed right there. Oh, what a shot. That did some serious damage. You can't take too top many top of those row. and expect to be in the match much longer. Wow, cannot believe The Undertaker got out of that one. Oh, Timber, and he falls hard. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. And these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. We're looking at complete domination here. Dropped, and that was a hard, hard shot. Boy, he just got laid out. Oh, and he eats the canvas. He's too busy bragging and boasting <laughs> the battle into this matchup. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Oh, he's going to go again. Don't get up. Is he going to go for a ride again? This could end it in a hurry. Last ride to hell. Last ride. Undertaker's done it. There's the finish. One, two, two, three. Undertaker is victorious. We may be looking at the match of the year. Dead man walking. And here's some highlights from the matchup. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Here's your winner, representing the Brothers of Destruction, The Undertaker! Put a check in the win column for Undertaker. Whoa, I think he just put the entire WWE roster on notice with that victory. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.
Undertaker ultimately takes the W in that one. As he rides off. Into the sunset. Fist in the air. On to the next match. We've got Alondra Blaze, a former woman's champion versus daddy's little girl, Stephanie McMahon. On Raw is War. For the Divas. Mr. McMahon from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. You can feel the intensity level inside the arena rising. You know that she's been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. Here comes Alondra Blaze, former champion. And approaching the ring. Chulona, Florida, Alondra Blaze. She was notorious oh, for uh, I can leaving WWE, I going to WCW, to and dropping a woman's title in a garbage can on live TV on Monday Nitro. Wanda Blaze versus Stephanie McMahon. When you step in the ring against Stephanie McMahon, it is the textbook definition of a lose-lose situation. The former women's champion is a majority stockholder in WWE, a WWE executive, the wife of the CEO of Triple H, and on top of that, a shrewd competitor. Remember, lose-lose. Hey, the shoulders are down. And into the head she kicks <laughs> What out. a move. Man, she's not just beautiful, she's tough too. Wow, what does it take to keep Alundra Blaze down? This young lady may be unbeatable. What can you tell the WWE Universe about Stephanie here? Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. Yep, there's the reversal by Alundra Blaze. A beautiful move there. Uh-oh, climbing the turnbuckle. She heads up. Oh, oh she missed. A big time miss. Oh, uh, going to the top, high risk. She's having a real hard time getting, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that oh, was a she costly missed miss again. Step. <laughs> oh. Good lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. Oh man, Stephanie didn't like that. Oh, oh she made it that time. Going for the cup and the kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. I can't believe Stephanie McMahon Stephanie's has more a fight in her. <laughs> and this heartless attack continues. Oh man, this is getting tough to watch. Oh Michael, she's one of my favorite divas. She's so good at being bad. What's gonna happen now? Oh, Daddy has something to say. <laughs> She's got her. 
Oh, Look face smash to here. the ground. Heel to the face. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE's.com's huge traffic numbers last month. Not today, too fast. He's going up. Heels and all. No, oh, maybe that's not. Worse. Oh man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Textbook snap bear. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. You know, a lot of fans recognize Alundra Blaze for her now infamous debut on WCW Monday Nitro, but there really is so much more to Alundra Blaze. That's the truth, Michael. Since getting her start in the AWA, Blaze has literally done it all in the sports entertainment world, including capturing the men's cruiserweight championship when she beat Evan Courageous in 1999. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. The shoulders are down. And a kick out. Only the kick barely gets the one. This match goes on. Man, I thought Alundra Blaze was out. Oh, she's down, but she's not out. Making it look easy. Oh, Daddy has to interfere. Got to protect his Look out. His oh, daughter. man. How much damage did that cause to the neck? In addition to holding her own with the men, let's not forget that many credit Alundra Blaze for the revival of the WWE's women's division back in the early to mid-1990s. You don't want to get in this diva's way. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no Wow, what a move from Stephanie McMahon. That's how you put an opponent away for good. Yeah, Cole, Stephanie McMahon showing who's boss in there. Here's your winner, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> With a little help from Daddy. There was no I can't believe what oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe in that man. And here's some highlights from the matchup. Here's On to the next winner. match. Ah, oh, we got tag team action. We got the Bushwhackers versus uh, Earthquake and Typhoon, the natural disasters. There we go, Monday Night Raw. Here comes Butch. And Luke, the Bushwhackers. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall <laughs> on the way to the ring. Bushwhacker Luke and Bushwhacker Butch. The Bushwhackers. <laughs> oh, the referee will undoubtedly they have hail from when these two good old Australia. Collide. And these teams have been waiting for this one, and so have I. Butch and Luke. <laughs> Quite a pair. comes a 7.9 earthquake right now win. approaching the Something's ring gotta give. Tremendous tag with team his competition partner coming Typhoon. Up here. 
there are a couple of big boys right there. Typhoon seeks out a big move here. Yeah, if he can hit one, this could be over. And look at this, Luke reverses wow. it. <laughs> I don't know how he managed that. Looking motivated now. Oh man, is he fired up. And he's driven into the corner. Well, hey, fair, a small a package. Uh, Tyfe going for the cover. Looking fresh right now. Would you plenty of fight left? You're right. This guy's still near 100%. Well, Typhoon can take a beating, that's for sure. Now, We've uh, seen that here tonight. He's Luke really taking a beating. I believe. Oh, wow. Oh, a headbutt. <laughs> the oh, he takes him start. down. There's almost an unknowing of what to expect. I know. Oh, I mean, he winds up. This match is going to be so oh. unpredictable. I just can't wait. If the action this Friday night is anything like last Friday, we're in for a, quite a treat tonight. King mentioned how tough Typhoon is, but what makes him even more dangerous, in my opinion, is his <laughs> drop some. We've seen him turn on partners in the past. And you never know when he'll do it again. You have to wonder if Earthquake has it in the oh, back of his mind when competing Earthquake's with Typhoon. Going in. Typhoon's out. Oh, no. <laughs> He's and taking he out both partner. members of the Bushwhackers. Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, he's oh, in out of nowhere. bad part of town. Oh, wait, nice reversal. If his back wasn't <laughs> hurt before, it certainly is now. Yeah, and it's going to be hurting for a while. Delivered oh. to the chest now. Oh, oh right to the bread basket. Judging by Luke's appearance, you wouldn't immediately realize it, but he is among the most fun-loving superstars of all time. Oh, you're right about that, Cole. Luke's appearance definitely tells a different story. I don't know what he has more of, teeth or tattoos. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Quakes Some pounding on the way, pounding the way at, what we just witnessed. at uh, Luke there. I always had a trouble uh, just wondering Man, which one was which, Luke that. or it's was he Luke or Butch? They both look identical. Oh, the ref is down. Oh, the ref just got taken out. Typhoon is down. Yeah, Earthquake is down. Attack. Yes, we are. The same form of attack we've seen before. Before you judge, King. Now, I haven't spent much time in New Zealand. Oh, Maybe yeah, no team the tattoos is in over there. Who knows? Got him in the Boston Crab. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. We're looking at complete <laughs> domination here. Oh, he's going to the top rope. Look at this thing. Oh, oh. And he tries to get a pin on Earthquake. Cover. Not a good idea. I have a strong feeling. That, oh, and he eats the canvas. Well, if no teeth and tattoos are in over in New Zealand, like you said, Michael, That's well, then typhoon. Luke has to be one of the biggest heartthrobs that that country has Oh, he seen. takes out the ref. Today, too fast. And now he's back typhoon's out on the apron. Typhoon's laying into him. Typhoon digging down deep. He really wants this one. The forecast has changed drastically so far. 
Oh. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. And Earthquake goes down. Uh, going to the top. And he's going to the top rope. You don't want to you get fight outside the ring for Typhoon, long. not Earthquake. You. Get some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Oh, and wow. He does a chop block this. to uh, Back in the Typhoon. Ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. You know, I've seen a lot of wacky people <laughs> come through this business over the years, but I don't know uh. if I've ever seen anybody as wacky as Butch. Oh. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Covers. He breaks free. Works on the neck of Typhoon. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh, my gosh. This is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. Oh, oh he missed. Oh, -ho. nobody home that time. Oh, wait. Nice reverse. Oh, did you see the neck snap back? Wow, Typhoon goes down hard. And he's going to the top oh, rope. Wow, he's, look out. Oh. Yeah. Speaking of wackiness, I'd say that there is actually somebody that can match Butch's off the wall demeanor, and that's his cousin Luke. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't believe a guy with a crown and a 100-pound talking head are arguing who's wackier. This broadcast has gone downhill in a hurry. <laughs> The commentary is far superior in the right older now. games, too, by the way. Look out. Uh oh. Butch Here we go. He's Ridiculous biting his head. Oh, maybe one of the best I've ever seen from Butch. Oh. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Much more of that, and he's not going to last long. He makes the tag. He's in trouble now. Here comes an earthquake. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. Oh boy, here the we go. The thing about Butch is that you never know what he's going to do next or what he's thinking, which makes him incredibly difficult to game plan for. Bulldog. Running, bulldog. Keep running. Keep running. And he's in there trying to get something going for his partner. Oh, he only got two. The referee getting involved now. He's got him. Who's the legal oh, man. man now? You think he feels awful now? He's going to feel a whole lot worse in the morning. Yeah, it's going to be tough to crawl out of the bed tomorrow. And here's a quick pin attempt by Earthquake. And a great shot there from Earthquake. That shook the ground. Good job Get getting the, the ropes there. there. You might not know what Twitch is going to do next, but one thing's for certain. At some point, he's going to try to lick you. Oh, man, you're right. And you know what? Oh. He around that ring with his arms wailing until right he to gets the you. Forehead. That much is for sure. Butch can turn it up anytime he wants. There's the switch. The team is working their game plan to perfection. Frequent tags have kept them fresh and in complete control of the match. And now he goes for it a second time. Earthquake hits the mat hard. Are you kidding? The entire arena shook. You can see him struggling to stand after <laughs> all the damage he's taken. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call <laughs> swinging for the fences and missing. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. We have to give Luke credit. That battering ram of the Bushwhackers has to oh, hurt no. him just as much as it. Oh, earthquake. Oh, oh, earthquake. Look at this. The shoulders are down. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime and leave you some change. Looking for the quick pin. I don't think even the referee was ready for that. Yep, there's the reversal by Luke. Things are going your way now, Luke. 
Something tells me that Luke doesn't really mind taking a little punishment from the battering ram, just as long as he's on the winning end of the match. Well, you know, that's the sign of a true competitor right there, Cole. Luke knows that sometimes you have to give up your body in order to pick up the win. Oh, boy, he here we go up. again. What's he going to do? Luke is getting ready here, looking for the victory. Oh, man, incredible move. He picked him up. Now that's a finishing move. This thing, can he do it here? He's got him. Three. The Bushwhackers win against unbeatable odds of the natural disasters. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the highlights here. <laughs> I can't believe what we saw in that match. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. He picked them up and dropped them. Body slam. Bushwhackers win that match on Raw is War. And Bushwhacker Bush, the Bushwhackers. You want to talk about a tag team war? We most definitely witnessed just that. This was from bell to bell, a clinic in tag team wrestling. Kudos to everyone. I love tag team matches, and that was one of the best I've seen in a while. Talk about making your presence felt in a match. Wow, what a win. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. What a match. Here we go. Get the next match underway. Billy Gunn. The Badass Billy Gunn. Is scheduled for one ball, making his way to the ring. From Orlando, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, Billy Gunn. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. Oh. The look on this guy's face tells me he's about to inflict some major pain. Ooh, you better look out. <laughs> the badass Billy Gunn. And now, his opponent. For certain, when Chris Jericho wants to get your attention, he gets it. Yeah, that's for sure, Michael. He's been making spectacular entrances since the Y2J countdown in 1999. Which one of these two will walk away with the win? We'll find out. Hope you're enjoying the show. In mere moments. I'll be back month on Tuesday with a regular scheduled programming of Grand Theft Auto 5 at 1 p.m. Central. That's Tuesday on D Live, Twitch, and YouTube. Be sure to join me then. Today is a special edition of Grant Real Talk Radio on this Labor Day 2020. Doing some wrestling from the past. Playing 2K16 currently. Started off the show with 2K19. We got Chris Jericho in the ring right now. Facing off against badass Billy Gunn. Get this will it. surely the bell. be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this Chris ring. Jericho is currently with AEW now. I think when it's all said and done, we'll be He's talking about this match 
for a long time. Sees the opportunity to go high. In that organization. Look at this thing. Oh, and he missed. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. It's the way I always used to do it. Cole, think of the worst headache you've ever had, then multiply it by 10. That's what it must feel like to be that hit by Billy Gunn's famous against sir. Against so Billy Gunn right now. Let us hear your thoughts on Billy Gunn. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head to head, no excuses. Let's get it on. Thank you for kicking off your weekend with us. We've got a great Friday night plan for you tonight. Man, Chris Jericho, what offense. And now it is show off time. Don't waste time gloating here. Just making his presence felt there. Goes for the Logan small package too close to the ropes. So Body slam damaging. with ease. to avoid that. Who may have discovered his favorite move? You think? He seems to use it often enough. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. <laughs> oh, Jericho's on the second rope. Oh, and he eats the canvas. Defenseless against a beautifully executed fallaway slam. You're right about that, Cole. It's hard to defend one of those. Billy Gunn's working on the leg right now. Lower leg. Going for the cover. And a kick That's out. not going to be enough. Matters. This match continues. What a competitor. Chris Jericho refuses to give up. John, Billy Gunn is undoubtedly among the greatest pure athletes this industry has ever seen. And by the way, he's never afraid to remind you of that. It's not bragging, Bible, when you have the hardware to back it up. Tag team champion, intercontinental champion, hardcore champion, king of the ring. There's not much Billy Gunn has not accomplished here in WWE. Oh, a serious knockout blow. Right into the steps. Competing at full health here. Definitely in a good position. What a match this is going to be. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, Cole. JBL ran off an impressive list of accomplishments for Billy Gunn earlier. Better well, get let's back not forget in. that he was also a member of perhaps the greatest faction no of all time. This is D not a generation no DQ match. Could be counted out at any time. Oh, he nailed him that time, sort of. Chris Jericho knows how to polish off an opponent. Whether he's getting cheered or booed by the WWE Universe, Y2J is always one step ahead of his opponent. Use the ropes to launch the sent on there. Man, he just fired off those ropes. Billy Gunn with a nice reversal. Quick pin attempt here. Cole, That's you bring up Billy Gunn's DX involvement, which was great. But for me, I rank his involvement in Billy and Chuck as some of the best work of his career. Not only were they tag team champions, but Billy and Chuck literally had the whole country talking about him. There we go. Neck drop. Look at the eyes of Jericho. He's relishing this assault. He's not going to beat you with that move, but he's going to make sure you feel it. Oh, out of nowhere! Oh, I don't think there's smiling. an area on that back that's not suffering right now. Yeah, when he wakes up in the morning, the only thing on his body that's not going to hurt is his pajamas. Chris Jericho doing a great job of turning that around. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Well, we're on the move here. King, we've said it many times in the past, but it's worth repeating. Billy Gunn may very well be the best pure athlete to ever grace a WWE ring. Yeah, all <laughs> you have to do is watch this guy compete. 
There's nothing he can't do in there. I mean, he's got a speed game. He's got a power game. He's got a technical game. The guy can do it all. Man, Chris Jericho, what offense. He risked being disqualified there. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. Oh, try to tell Jericho he's not the best in the world. He'll never believe you. Extra slow getting back to his base here. As you noted earlier, King, Billy Gunn can do it all in the ring. Evidence of that can be found in his trophy case, whether it's a member of a tag team or on his own. Billy Gunn has won more than his fair share of championships. And he dodges that one. And he escapes. Oh, wait, nice reversal. He's going up. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. Hey, he's going right up. Jericho's going so up. He's going like to drop this. him. Oh, wow. right to the face. There. Wow. He's still down after that. The shoulders are down. We got a two. Getting back to Billy Gunn's championships quickly. Oh, it's amazing. Small package. To me. Here's the cover. He breaks free. Maneuver. And that's patented Michael Cole. This has been a very methodical attack. Gonna work on the upper shoulder. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, Body it's certainly due to a lack of trying, Michael. Boy, he just got laid out. <laughs> Both of these competitors have so much resolve. It's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Hoping to end it early. Here's Hoping. Barely gets a one. Billy Gunn's getting frustrated. <laughs> Oof, man. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. Not today, too fast. He's making a statement here with this attack. Look at this, there's absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. Oh no, we know what this is. Oh. That's it, that's gotta be it. Billy Gunn. Now that's a finishing move, people. All these power. Hey, the shoulders no, are down. Barely gets a one. Jericho maneuvers his way out of trouble. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. Uh oh. The famous sir. Ain't coming back from that one. I wouldn't want to come back from that one. I'd want to get out of here. What a finishing move. This could be it. Will this be it? I think he's got it. No. Just got a one count, barely. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Yeah, one of those you never want to see in. It's going to go up again. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE. And a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys. He takes to the air. Wow. Great one -on -one. Oh, he got him with a small package. That was a close match. And Billy Gunn takes the W. Let's take a look back at winning. Let's go to the highlights here. 
a big win for badass Billy Gunn. That was a big pinfall victory on right there. On the next match on 2K16, currently playing on Real Talk Radio. Now we've got Savio Vega. Um, Rikishi versus... Uh, I forgot his name now. <laughs> Top head. And, and uh, of course, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Or Kaku or somebody. Can't remember. I just threw this together at the last moment. This for this. Uh, the following tag team contest is scheduled for one ball on the way to the ring. WWE's finest squaring off in what will assuredly be an exciting tag team encounter. You'd be hard pressed to find a better tag team match than we're about to see here. Yeah, I'm sure Kishi. Here comes and his Savio Vega. From the South Bronx, weighing in at 260 pounds, Savio Vega. Man, both of these teams are determined to walk away with a win. Something's got to give. And these teams have been waiting for this one, and so have I. <laughs> and their opponents. And their opponents. I was right, it's hot too. <laughs> nice hairdo. <laughs> Here he comes to the ring, Haku. And the tag team scene has been on fire of late here at WWE. And I think we're about to see Quack. another hot one. I'd say this team looks like they have what it takes to walk away victorious tonight. Thank you, CLC on DLive for following Real Talk Radio. Hope you enjoy the show. I generally play uh, Grand Theft Auto V, but this is Labor Day weekend. I thought I'd do something different, fun and exciting. Uh, some old wrestling. And now, Ricky the Dragon Streamboat. And his tag team partner, from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing 235 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Oh, the referee will undoubtedly have his hands full when these two teams collide. You'd be hard pressed to find a better tag team match than we're about to see here. Good old days of wrestling. Now gone. Rest in peace, WWE. It was a fun ride. But unfortunately, nowadays it's over. And there's the bell. An important thing to remember is the team that protects each other and works I'm going to let the uh, AI play this match. To win this. I'm going to take a break while the match continues. Uh, the computer is going to run the match. Uh, we'll see who wins. I'm just going to take a quick break. I will be back. Seems like Enjoy these guys the action while I'm gone for a moment. Frustration tonight.
Give me some thoughts on Haku. King, if you grabbed 10 random superstars from the 1980s and 90s, yeah. and you asked them who the toughest competitor they ever met was, mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet all 10 would say Haku. Well, you know what? I'd have to agree with your assessment, Cole. Haku's toughness is the stuff of legend. I mean, some of the things that he has done, well, I don't even think I can repeat them here. I like the pairing, Michael. These two work so well together as a team. Barely any damage has been inflicted so far, but this one's not over yet. Great offense by Rikishi. I guess when you start training at the age of 10 like Haku did, you have no choice but to be one of the toughest competitors to ever compete. Quick thinking to avoid that. There's the switch. Rikishi doing a great job of turning that around. He's incredible, isn't he? King, just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. He makes the tag. And sometimes that neck pain can be felt all the way down the spine. Hey, back to Haku's toughness real quick. From what I understand, he actually started competing in sumo wrestling before getting into professional wrestling. And from the stories I've heard, he often intimidated guys three times his size while in Japan. Doing a great job of avoiding any serious offense. That'll go a long way as this one progresses. Oh, they're taking a risk here. That's how you win matches. The shoulders are down. Two. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh, no, that slam didn't look pretty. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. And there's the tag. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Did you see his head? We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. And Ricky the Dragon Steamboat reverses it. Perfectly executed. He makes the tag. I think I saw a tooth fly out. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. You know, the knife edge chop is obviously most associated with Ric Flair. But I'll tell you one thing, Haku's chops may be the toughest in the business. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. Covers. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Extra slow getting uh, back to his base here. Just letting the AI oh, oh, oh. play this match. You can almost see the oh, tears in his break. eyes. Hope you're enjoying the show, oh, everyone. God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have Happy more than Labor one Day. of the attack. Man, hope I hope everyone's we can well get a out doctor out here as a precaution. And Damaged ribs like that can make it hard can. to breathe. Much like your earlier point about Haku's chops, I don't think it's hyperbole to match his super kick right up there with some of the... Going for the cup. This program should be over around 4 p.m. Central Time, approximately, depending on Look how long this. the matches go. Generally go three hours during the weekend streams, which are Saturdays. Wait. 
1 p.m. till 4 p.m. and Sundays 1 p.m. till 4 p.m. And weekdays, I don't think even the it's up. He got I the do two-hour streams. We're looking at complete Mondays, domination here. Wednesdays, it's just a matter of time and uh, now. Fridays as well. But sometimes it's just one in between, like on a Tuesday. And he lives the tomorrow fight again. at 1 p.m. Central. Grand Theft oh. Auto 5 is and the normal the programming I, I provide. If you're seeing it for the first time, first uh, please hit the follow Rico button, Japan help the, the channel TNT, grow. But so in 1995, the, the was introduced show. to this hard rock from the South Bronx, Savio Vega. I want to talk about a tough customer, Michael. Savio Vega debuted at the first WWE In Your House pay-per-view and went on to defeat the likes of Gold Dust, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, The uh -oh. Rock, and Here we go. Triple H. Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. And One, it, it two. Barely got a two count. After Raw's War, we'll be switching over once again to um, another 2K game. The 2K15 will be playing some SmackDown. In team warfare, as a member of the nation's seen, uh, domination, the leader of the Puerto Evolution, Evolution the Shield matches, basically, you would have saw in 2014. Quick thinking to avoid that. Coming up in this segment of the show on Raw's War, oh we're going to be seeing some, his ribs. some action from The Rock and the Dragons and Stone Cold Steve, Steve Austin. Steve ability to strike and switch gears in real time is legendary. Oh, you hell can yeah. the momentum shift. He makes the tag! Had a little He's game capture issue earlier in this broadcast, was stuttering a bit. And I'm working on it. I'm not a professional. I'm new at this. I've only been streaming for about six months or so. So I've, I'm gradually upping my game as far as quality. Double chicken wing. The fox is in the hen house. <laughs> That's the last place you want the fox to be. Going for the cup. One, two. We're looking two and at a half. complete domination here. Two and a half on Ve Vega. Ricky Dragon's hey working her on him on his shoulder now. The referee getting involved Haku now. Haku is fighting with Rikishi. Small package by Ricky. Look at this. This could do it. Maybe. One, two, two, two and a half. With the action this Friday night is anything like last Friday. Oh, the game Friday, is a little bit louder than my tonight. voice. I can fix that. 260 pounder. Savio Vega sure has some quick feet. Somehow, he pulls off kicks that you'd expect to see from the one, two, three kid. I've transitioned to new equipment, and, and I still have to, to work out time. some of the bugs. And that was some miss, all right. As far as audio is concerned, the, the graphics the are, are, uh, are are really good compared to what I was dealing with before. But I'll see what I can do with the audio. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on Quack. all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on I'll the I'll turn Divas. down the digital audio f interface a bit. Hopefully that helps. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Hopefully that's a little louder. He sees it. Thank you for hosting Real Talk Radio, oh, CLC. Oh, I hope I pronounced the name right. One, two, three. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat wins. One in a million what a match. Describe this match. Thank you. I uh, lowered the uh, video video capture device down to 45 decibels. Well, 45 volume setting on Windows, and the mic is at 100. So 
Let's see what things out. That I also matchup. lowered the game in-game audio slightly so it doesn't drown me out. That was a decent match. I don't usually let AI take control of the game, but I just thought I would while I took a break and keep the action going. Alright, on to the next match. We've got a triple threat. Extreme Rules, The Rock, Triple H, and The Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, hell yeah. This is going to be brutal. Here comes the rattlesnake. The glass is broken. Here he comes. The following triple threat contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring. From Victoria Temple. Weighing in 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Man, oh, Rattlesnake. This guy gets from a crowd. Yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. His eyes tell the story of a man determined to win here tonight. Been I have the music, the wind, uh, entrance music turned down slightly because I don't want to get muted by it quick. I like this theme song from Stone Cold. His heel music when he turned heel and joined Vincent Mann at WrestleMania 17, I believe. And approaching Here comes the ring, Triple H. Representing D Generation X from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 260 pounds, Triple you know, I hate to be so negative, but this guy deserves every last boo he gets here tonight. I know there are people yeah, out there ready that may to disagree suck it. with me, but they're wrong if they do. But I think we're looking at the winner of the triple threat match right now. I disagree with you. Yeah, it was stuttering. It seems to be flowing nicely on my smartphone. I'm watching it in real time. Well, it's broadcasting. It doesn't seem to be stuttering that much, but it is a little bit. I'm using an 8 gig uh, Intel computer PC with uh, full HD 1080p. Um, but uh, I have it scaled down to 720. And then I have the game capture uh, resolution lowered down from 720 to about 1068 just uh, compensate for speed but there is a little stutter now and then I've turned off all the background programs like on Windows I'm working on the stuttering I'm on top of it no worries I'm quite aware here's the rock you know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. Ah, this guy's got his work cut out for him here tonight. I, I know this you of that. software I'm using, the PC I'm using, I will not be able to do six, 60 frames per second. I'm working on a solid 30 frames per second. Right now, I've just got to work out the little glitches. So it's currently at 29.97 frames per second. Gotta smooth things out a bit. It's a work in progress. Yeah, DLive is really good on mobile. It does stutter and buffer on browser, especially on my uh, smart TV. Sometimes it's just perfect and sometimes it buffers. Meanwhile, it's not even buffering on my phone, but it buffers in the browser. But of course, I have a Samsung Smart TV, so it's not the greatest browser. I'm currently, uh, my bit rate is uh, 
3200 and that's that's pretty low here we go and the question is which one of these three competitors will be the most extreme oh michael this is going to be fun to watch oh wait nice reversal a triple threat match extreme rules I usually keep my bit rate between 3,000 and 3,200. With the reversal. Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. Check it out, Triple H. What can you tell us right now? Definitely looking good. Oh, we got so some far. chair action happening. Up to this point. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. Wow, he's still. Wow, <laughs> he just took him out. This one's over. Oh, not again. Not again. Go right oh, to the rib cage. Austin's in a fighting mood. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. And into the cover. Oh, look at that. He managed yeah, to the get Live was designed for like say, mobile apps. It wasn't. Everything. So far, uh, it's not a great desktop app, but it's getting better. The ring. It's got oh, good audio quality, quality. I can pick up uh, Dolby Digital on my receiver oh, on select broadcast. Damage. Not every broadcast is using uh, like oh, 2.0 or 2.1 audio. They're generally using stereo, and when you use stereo audio on OBS, it Comes, doesn't come out as uh wow he's still down after that digital. oh my get the medics down here oh, oh. usually when someone decides to use a weapon you can almost guarantee it's not a one-time occurrence you got to be ready for anything stunner stunner <laughs> oh look at the emotion shoulders down is it enough they're still alive breaks up yeah, the Cole, count you remember that song back in the day staying alive well that was it in wwe terms stone cold's Ow. working on the rock right now honey oh, missed that one god that's gotta hurt yeah you're not doing any damage with swings like that but keep doing it the freeze may give him a cold uh going for another weapon sledgehammer time Oh, and he got. This guy's gonna, capable of anything. Triple H takes the sledgehammer. Oh, and he dropped right on it. All three of these competitors that ought to hurt. walk away with the winner's end of the purse tonight. Triple H, the prototypical ring general. He's so good at oh, he breaks the count. count. What action! the save the match continues oh and did you hear oh, the, the rock gets the Look sledgehammer another merciless blow i'll be shocked if that's not it another now shot. triple h gets it be the same after this match this just gets worse we talk about separation between you and your opponent as a key to victory i don't know how you can be expected to do that when you're getting beaten all the hell oh out comes the table The rock steals the table from the rock. Favorite nights of the year for the rest of the from uh, Stone Cold. We're looking at complete <laughs> domination here. Oh wow! What an attack! Oh not again! Oh the rock going after guys, everyone. He's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard Body to breathe. Body slam. We're looking at complete domination here. I'm not sure I can watch this. Oh, oh once you get the ring, <laughs> they're fighting outside the ring. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Austin spots the opening. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Oh, the 
Triple H goes down. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at the offense. slug fest oh, now. Rock. Stone Cold. We just witnessed. Going for it again. Triple H. Oh, the body slams the rattlesnake. Triple H setting up. Oh, they're going big. up the ramp now. Oh, Rock drops oh, him on the steel well, ramp. The oh, the Rock the gets game. dropped. Talk about getting momentum behind you. Triple H doing what he does best. Pick his opponent apart. Oh, look at the emotion. The Rock going to work now. I'm not sure I can watch this. A nice shot by the Rock. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost and secondary Stone when you Cold get there gives them the bird. dangerous objects. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, Still I, steps. I, I think this oh, no. Is good strategy. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Oh, the rock gets nailed with the steel steps. Oh, this so does Triple good. H. And it's just getting worse. I wonder if the referee is too intimidated to do anything. <laughs> At some point, this madness has to end. The shoulders are down. Oh, the rock Your got clipped. Quite like this guy. Oh my God. This is gonna be brutal, folks. Now that's how you make a statement. Oh man! That's it! Did you hear that? I'm just glad I didn't feel it. Oh look out. Alright now that oh, oh the rock. Out. I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. Man, that's gotta hurt. This is the will it be enough for the win? Oh, this is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, it's a big slug fest. Taking a bit of a beating so far, Leg but drop. nothing that can't be overcome. Body slam. Great job of turning that around. Ooh, a little showboating going on here. Inside the ring now. Finally, let's get this done inside the ring. Boy, did he get dropped or what? Oh, rock bottom. Rock bottom. This one's in the box. That was electrifying. There it is. He's going for the that pin. The shoulders are down. And the, the Triple H breaks the, breaks the pin. Been all over right there. Yeah, I've been in similar positions in there. Take it from me, Cole. It doesn't get much closer than that. He thinks he has it. Oh my God, watch out. What a way to break the pin. Gives him the bird. Man, that was close. That was a different kind of counterattack, but hey, whatever works. And here's the people's champ. The Rock is feeding off the electricity from the sellout crowd and laying the smack down in there. What intensity. Whoa, <laughs> a direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. Oh no, you have to think that's it. Uh-oh. Hey, the shoulders are dead. The count breaks broken. the pin. My God, somehow he broke the referee's count. What a battle. Oh man, just when you think this is over, the war wages on. And there's so much at stake. Leg drop. Uh-oh. Oh, Here's back a belly to belly body. Man, a belly to belly oh, no. To Are we going to see the pedigree? No, I guess not. Not today. Too fast. Oh, this spells trouble right here. Uh-oh. Pedigree. Pedigree.
His shoulders are there, still alive. Yeah, Cole, you remember that song back in the day? Oh, got a hit well, from the back. In WWE mm -hmm. terms. Head. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Steve Austin. He's going for the pin. Wow, there's the save. The match continues. Not going to win many matches with that move. Oh, what a shot. That did some serious damage. You can't take too many of those and expect to be in the match much longer. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if it, the shoulders are down. The count's broken. The hole. My God, somehow he broke the referee's count. What a battle. Oh, man. Just when you think this is over, the war waves is on. Oh, so Triple H is this in is a rage goal. now. He's going up. Steve Austin doing a great job nope. of turning that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Look out, look out. Rock this bottom. Rock oh. bottom. This one's in the box. That was electrifying. There's the finish. It makes the cover. And the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. After the out of punishment he suffered, it's simply amazing that he's still in this one. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. Birds are in there. A win here in this triple threat. Hey, the shoulders are... And he breaks the three count. Oh, I got to tell you, I really thought that could have been it. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, what a move from Triple H. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. And into the cover. Two! Good Lord, that wasn't even... Uh. Man, he's got to feel great. <laughs> that match was incredible. What a match. You want to talk about incredible high hits? Let's take a look at some of the big highlights. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. Triple H is victorious. Here's your the winner. Cerebral Assassin. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. Whoa, I think he just put the Suck entire it. WWE roster on notice <laughs> with that victory. After that, I can't wait. All right, we're going to switch up games now. Not playing Bash at the Beach. We're going to 2K15. That was the main event. The triple threat, Triple H, gets the W against Stone Cold and The Rock in the Extreme Rules match. Now we're moving on to uh, 2K15. Then it will be the final game and the final hour of the show. I want to thank uh, CLC for following and hosting Real Talk Radio. Had to turn the audio off because I don't want to get hit later by YouTube when it uploads. You know, you know, uh, copyright crap. Anyways, we're gonna be doing some SmackDown from 2014, roughly Friday Night SmackDown. We're gonna start off with the Usos against Daniel Bryan and The Miz. Here we go. Thank you for joining me today on this Labor Day weekend, Monday. 2020 I'll be back on Tuesday with normally scheduled programming which would be Grand Theft Auto 5. Here's the Usos 
on Friday Night Smackdown. Smackdown. Time for Daniel Bryan, his partner. And his tag team partner from Aberdeen, Washington. Weighing 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has been knocked down so many times, but he always manages to pop back up. Uh, his resilience really is unbelievable, folks. Since the lockdown in March, April, I haven't even watched wrestling. I don't even know who's there and who's gone. I've lost interest. Wrestling is pretty much dead now. But we have all we have is our memories of the past. They'll never take that away from us. Got Daniel Bryan and The Miz taking on the Usos on SmackDown. 2K15 on Real Talk Radio. Let's get started. Let's go. The Miz looking to kick things off for his team. Watch out! Oh my, almost took their head off. What, <laughs> what a kick that was. Jey Uso in there now. Give us your thoughts on the superstar. Well, with the kind of streak he's been on, I wouldn't bet against him. I mean, mentally and physically, this guy is at the top of his game right now. <laughs> the Miz imposes his will. What arrogance on display by the Miz. <laughs> Ooh, a little showboating going on here. <laughs> wow, he's still down after that. He almost took his head off with that lariat. Yeah. I knocked his opponent out. Daniel Bryan's going over to the other side. Miz and Shaw break. What a reversal. He's he still got the body slam. He drops the elbow. We're currently watching WWE 2K15 here on Real Talk Radio. Daniel Bryan tags in. In a shot to the solar plexus. Wow, I don't know if this arena can take another impact like that. <laughs> Referee got tossed to into the corner. Jimmy Uso showing some expert prowess here. Great reversal. Work is being put in by Daniel Bryan. <laughs> his twin brother must have felt it. Oh, look at the emotion. Just a fantastic 
gymnastic suplex. Daniel Bryan has had some special moments here in WWE. SummerSlam 2013, when he became WWE Champion, it must be bittersweet for him. It didn't last long, but in winning the championship, Daniel got further than most people in this business can ever dream about. He goes for the pen. And quickly going, Jimmy gets the shoulder up early. These competitors are giving it everything they have. I love SmackDown. Watch it. Oh. oh. <laughs> and he tags in the Miz, his partner. Oh, what a close line. The Miz is looking to fly. Michael, Daniel Bryan wrestled one of the greatest matches of his life in 2013 SummerSlam. Bryan entered an elite group when he became WWE champion. Hope everyone's enjoying the show. It's historic, but it's also historic how he became a former WWE champion. Let's face it, history waits for no man. Great offense by the Miz. Playing mind games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. And here comes his partner. And the tag. <laughs> I love these animations. That's what's missing from the new games. Oh my gosh. Jay Uso new games suck. Show. The last good one was 2019, and it was barely good. It was, just, it was barely worth buying. And to this day, I still have not bought 20. Oh, what a cool 20 and I refuse shot. to. Oh, cool. Look at that. Look at that. The Miz may have started out on the rough road here in WWE, but you have to give oh. him his name. Miz has become a decorated WWE champion. Miz has been a tag team champion, United States champion, intercontinental champion, and WWE champion. Let's face it, Miz Oh no, here we go. Face smasher. That's it. He's out. <laughs> his partner's being punished. And he's he breaks the count. Daniel Bryan tags in. And it's Jay Uso getting out of that. Bam! Oh, Jimmy <laughs> Uso didn't see that one coming. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. The Undertaker coming up later against, uh, uh, I forgot his name now. <laughs> he wrapped up the match. And... From the apron to the ring, and the match continues. Daniel's got Here he goes, he's going for the kicks. One, two, three. Four and you're out. <laughs> and he's in there trying to get there's the cover. Can he do it? He breaks the count. Oh man, is he fired? Yes. Daniel. He's got him in the hole. Oh, he got out. Things are going through that mind right now. When you get in control like this, <laughs> he goes for the pin again. He could pin his opponent right here. Three. Daniel Bryan, Bryan and the Miz wins. Let's go to the highlights here. We got a couple of highlights here. Face Let's master. Let's see what happened during that incredible match. Wait, kick. And Daniel Bryan gets the win. And Fuso. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. Let's take a look at some of them. We're watching SmackDown here on D Live. Here are your winners, Daniel Bryan and The Miz. An emotional victory here tonight. Man, oh man, what a battle!
up next we got the Rhodes family against our truth and I forget who else this other guy is well we'll find out shortly enough we got Cody, Ro Cody Rhodes who is currently with AEW now and Goldust the following tag team contest is scheduled there for we go. one fall. On the way to the ring, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Cody Rhodes and Goldust. Cody Rhodes looks fired up tonight, King. <laughs> Cody approaches every match like the most important WWE sure career. dropped the ball That's when it came to Cody Rhodes. He just did not know how to use him. Now he's a big star in AEW. Xavier Woods, that's Our who it was. He looked totally different. I had a, I, 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 he looked familiar, but I wasn't watching wrestling briefly in 2014. I started watching him in 2015. And uh, New Days had started. So here's our truth with Xavier Woods. Now with the New Day. Cody Rhodes starting off this match against our truth Our truths going to start this one out. Cody Rhodes shows us some clever offense here. No, not again. Let's talk about our truth here. Well, I'm sure he's thinking about what a win over the champion would mean tonight. The title's not on the line, but the momentum you're riding after a win like that is huge. Cody Rhodes executed that move. Body slam. Kick out of this unusual matchup. This will be a physical battle. There's the bulldog. bulldog. And now it is show off time. Don't waste time floating here. Just a fantastic suplex. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Uh, Goldust tags in. And now it is show off time. Don't waste time floating. to the ring and the match continues what a kick that was not really sure what Goldust is up to here but his opponent better watch out oh man <laughs> you take a shot like that and you feel it for weeks Goldust just chopped them down oh nice well placed kick to the ribs Tags in. And there's the double team. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we still have what should be a tremendous. Oh, oh boy. Balls count anywhere. I hate these matches because frequently I have to move. Oh, and he missed. But then again, sometimes you get caught in the crossfire, Michael. And who doesn't love to see that? Oh, did you see the force behind that? His partner's being punished, and he's seen it up. And he's heading back inside the ring. And he gets back in. Ah, oh, he grabs the ref. 
<laughs> Brings him back into the ring. Time for a tag. Cody Rhodes is in against uh, Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods looks a lot different now. You know, he lost a lot of weight. Cody Rhodes began as a protege of Hardcore Holly, and he quickly became one half of the I didn't tag team champion. The second generation star made a name for himself as Not part a of the faction legacy. Day fan, so and Cody's held the Intercontinental Championship and WWE Tag on Team Championship team. on several occasions. I was at one time, but I got tired of him. Wrestling today is boring now compared to the old days. And just jaded. Oh my gosh! No! Oh, he didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Man, that one rocked him. You know, go. It's funny because Cody's dad, Dusty Rhodes, initially rose to fame as part of a tag team. The famous Texas Outlaws with Dick Murdoch. Cody's been part of many successful duos, but I think if you Our look at his intercontinental in, championship on the ropes right now, you can see what can be expected from Cody as a single champion. Our truth imposes his will. Only did Drop he him. That, but he looked pretty good. No, not again. Oh man, is he fired up? Time for Gold Dust to come back in. Leg drop. Gold Dust showing some expert prowess here. Gold Dust taking a break too well. Well, I'm not really sure. There's the tag, and he's There's the tag. <laughs> Cody's out. Xavier Woods is in. Drops Goldberg. Goldust. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. And this is going to return to the ring. Hold on. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Oh, look at the emotion. Looks like Goldust is expressing himself here. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Another Bulldog. I don't believe it. Momentum's changed hands again. Goes for the pin. He wasted no time going for that pin. And Xavier Woods gets out quickly. It's been some night here on Friday Night SmackDown, and we're still rolling. Oh, back to the head. Back to the temple. Now, Xavier Woods gets blasted. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. What's uh -oh. That's a two count. And he's heading back in. Our truth is back in. Don't let his bedazzled attire fool you. Goldust has all types of ways to get the upper hand on an opponent. Goldust is as tough as nails and can slug it out with anyone. But he can also creep into an opponent's psyche and completely take them off their game plan. And I think he's begging him to bring it. He's in big trouble. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Mind games again. Goldust 
Goldust is going up. Oh no. He scored with that one. What makes a man even want to take a gamble like that, King? Here's the cover. Going for the pin. Breaks it at one and a half. This match isn't over yet. Cody goes in. Xavier Woods tags in. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. R2 tags in again. Look at Cody Rhodes. Oh, Cody Rhodes has got him. Two, three, Cody Woods wins against R2 fan Xavier Woods. And here's some highlights from the matchup. I think Goldust is a bit of a distraction. <laughs> well, let's take a look at some of those highlights. Oh boy. That, that was, was a good match. You want to talk about incredible high impact? We're gonna move on with the next winner. match. Cody Rhodes. On Real Talk Radio, Mark Henry versus Dolph Ziggler from around 2014 of SmackDown. The world's strongest man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sylvie, Texas, weighing 412 pounds. World's strongest the world's man. Strongest man, Mark Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, we may very well witness a new. And now, his opponent, Dolph Ziggler. And approaching the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing 213 pounds, Dolph. Ziggler. And we are hearing some love for this superstar here. I used to watch wrestling every Monday and uh, and Wednesday and Friday. I miss watching wrestling, but now it's just garbage now. They have no audience. Now they got video streams with people on cell phones, which looks absolutely ridiculous. It was better off with no audience. So, uh, I haven't watched wrestling since this turn. So. All we have is our memories, I guess. That's so all we're allowed to have right now. This should be a good match. Dolph Ziggler against Mark Henry. We're coming near the end of the show. Mark Henry. Here's a scary thought. As this one gets underway, Mark Henry seems to be getting more and more dangerous with each <laughs> passing year. Yeah, and World's considering he came all the way back in 1996 against me, that makes him quite dangerous. I don't know what's going to happen here. But I don't like Dolph Ziggler. I never really liked him. To be <laughs> oh, wow. Ziggler knocked to the mat hard. Now, I know Ziggler can withstand high levels of pain, but that was ridiculous. And he's heading back in. What? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Well, what do you do here? I don't know, but we're about to find out. He's leaving. Two, three. Come on back. Don't be a chicken shit. Into the ring now. 
this is going to return to the ring. Almost a count out. Oh, Dolph Ziggler's cocky. He's arrogant and brand, and he loves showing the world what he can do in that ring. Ziggler looks to steal the show each and every time Ziggler he's out almost there, and he prides himself the count on being the show off. Watch out! <laughs> Trying to get under his opponent's skin. <laughs> They're taking on the big man here. Oh, chop block. He's just playing with them now. Ooh, a little showboating going on here. And that one hurt his hand. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Oh, oh down you go. Mark Henry ain't gonna have any of them. Volunteer to refresh their memory on how he backs up everything he says, and then some. He's got evil intentions. Oh no, he's going up. He's going up. Body slam from the top rope. One, two. Gets that too. Ooh, a little showboating going on here. He got him. <laughs> the end is near. Playing my games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. Oh, my uh oh. Here we go. No, gonna do it again. Power slam. One, two, three, and it is over. The world's strongest man destroyed the Ziggler. This is the one that ended it. And that's why he's the world's strongest man. Here is your winner, Mark Henry. The world's the strongest man, Mark Henry. An emotional victory here tonight. Man, oh man, what a battle! Now we have The Undertaker versus CM Punk. That's who I was, I forgot the name at the last moment. Uh, all falls count anywhere. CM Punk versus The Undertaker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Chicago, Illinois. Weight 218 pounds. The Intercontinental Champion. C.N. Oh, oh, listen to this place. Everybody's on their feet. I love this atmosphere. This broadcast will be going beyond 4 o'clock. It'll be probably roughly 4.30ish. It's going to be a May event match. we got Evolution coming up against The Shield. On SmackDown, I hope you enjoy the show. I hope you stay till the end. And most importantly, hit that follow button. I will be back tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, for Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, a regular scheduled broadcast right here on Live. Also available on Twitch and sometimes YouTube. And approaching the ring, 
from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, The Undertaker! Here comes The Undertaker, a man who won 21 straight matches at WrestleMania, a feat that will likely never be matched. Are you kidding me, Michael? Most superstars would be lucky if they even competed in 21 WrestleMania matches, let alone won them. Um, the dead man on the paper. Time for the bell. The Undertaker is standing opposite one of his greatest challenges to date. CM Punk is obsessed with destroying The Undertaker and obliterating his legacy from the WWE history books. The Undertaker going for it. He's got him in the corner now. I think I saw two fly out. The slug pass. Bam! You hear how his leg connected? Here we go with the Undertaker. Got him in the corner again. Back and forth. How do these superstars keep doing it? Undertaker has him right where he wants him. Oh, and he took his head off. Taker wants some air here. The title is not up for grabs so today. Jim Punk is the continental champion. Just an exhibition match. Taker's found his footing. He's back in the match. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Hold on. King CM Punk is a huge comic book fan, much like yourself. Yes. It said he has as much knowledge about comics as you have about Memphis Barbecue. What are you, JR? Punk's a very CM Punk into the cover. Oh. CM Punk gets the Damn slider. Here is your oh, winner, CM Punk wins out. This is faster. Now the main event. Six-man tag team. We got Evolution versus The Shield. This is the final match of this broadcast. I want to thank you for watching today. And thank you for following Real Talk Radio. I'll be back again at it Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central for the Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Hope you'll join me then.
is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 255 pounds, the game Triple H. Here's the man who's no stranger to the marquee matchups, the King of Kings, Triple H. Oh, you got that right, folks. The game's fun of all. Undertaker, Cena, Flair, Stone Cold, and the list goes on and on. Cerebral assassin, Triple H. In the main event tonight, today on the Fox Radio. Randy Orton. Right there. And his partners. From St. Louis, Missouri. Weight 245 pounds. Randy Orton. Second member of Evolution. Founded by Rick Flair. When I used to watch wrestling back in the spring, last time I did, he was my still my favorite. Even though he was feuding with uh, Matt Hardy or Jeff Hardy at that point, when I bailed out. Anyway, want to want to shit in the world. All we got is the memory, folks, for now. And now, here comes Batista, third member of Evolution. And their partner. From Washington, D.C., weighing 278 pounds, the animal, Batista! Batista's a guy who couldn't care less about what people think of him. Right, he's only interested in hurting people, Cole. He's been that way ever since returning to the WWE. Here comes the animal, Batista. Now, here comes the shield. And at a total combined weight of 707 pounds, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns the Shield. Here comes a man, Roman Reigns, who can match power with almost any superstar on the roster. That's right. This is going to be a dogfight, Cole. That's for sure. And here we go. Time for the bell. This is a huge start. six man tag team matchup. Oh, did you see the next one? Right, he took off Triple H's head. 
Triple H has so much intensity. Well, confidence and momentum are key ingredients to success in WWE. And right now, this guy's got a bit of both. Body slam. Seriously wrong there. The fight says the 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 he was able to reverse that. Small package. Oh. Triple H makes the and he doesn't stay down. Breaks out of it. It won't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. Roman Reigns with a reversal. Oh, well, you know, speed and power is a dangerous combination, Cole. If he keeps delivering clotheslines like that, he's going to break his arm. High risk. Roman Reigns is going high risk. Dean Ambrose is in. The lunatic thing. When I think about the history that Triple H has written in this career, it's amazing. I think back to his incredible entrance at WrestleMania 22 when he faced John Cena in Chicago. That procession to the oh. ring was the tone for the entire match. I mean, it was awesome. <laughs> Took them all out. Oh, look at the the lunatic friend. A lot of spring left in his step right now. A sharp kick. <laughs> oh, took his head off. You hear how his leg connected? Well, Triple H not him in enemy territory. King, I know you spoke about WrestleMania 22, <laughs> but let's think back to when the cerebral assassin took his first steps toward sports entertainment royalty. When he defeated mankind in the finals of the <laughs> takes out the wrath at the, the same time. You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm going to go with something historic that happened in 1997 as well. That summer, Triple H and the Heartbreak Kid formed the renegade group of Degeneration X. What about that, Cole? Of course. I mean, WWE wouldn't even have had an attitude error without them. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Now they're fighting outside the ring. The two uh, that move perfectly. Oh, launched back into the ring. He's still not through. Oh, my. Randy Orton kicks a hit. Oh, ow. Nice move. Watch it. Ooh. Oh. What a shot. And he kicks and off Randy touched. Orton's head. Seth Rollins is in. And he finally gets out of the ring. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. Ooh, man, that one rocked him. <laughs> Seth Rollins' career began as one of the most respected grapplers on the independent scene. Rollins then joined WWE and was crowned the first ever NXT champion. The world then saw him emerge as one Drop of the top them. talents in all of sports entertainment as a member of the Shield. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Oh, Randy Orton's fighting back. He was one step ahead on that one. And there goes the Viper. Oh, man. Yeah, Randy's getting roughed up right now. Randy Orton. 
Orton isn't liking this. You know, Rollins was one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions along with Roman Reigns. So what all of this means is that by now we all know when Seth Rollins touches down there in that ring, all hell is going to break loose. Oh, Cole, look at that. And that's how you heard it. Oh. He's in the bad part of town. And he gets escorted back through the ropes. And this is going to return to the ring. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. And he's in there oh, trying there to get comes the tag. Triple H is in again. Roman Reigns is knocked out. Russian leg sweep. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, that's because Seth Rollins, it's just so quick. Oh, oh wow. And he gets leveled. Triple H tags out. Batista's back in. Roman Reigns is in again. And now it is Ooh. Oh, look at the emotion. Watch it. Oh, man, that was a sick thud when he hit the concrete. And he's heading back in. Serena can take another impact like that. Oh man, is he fired up? You know, Batista's strength is like something out of a pages of a comic book or scenes from a Hollywood blockbuster. For Batista, it's all about establishing dominance, like a lion in the jungle, establishing what's his. The animal's power is dominating and unrelenting. He's in a bad place right now. Then, okay, the double team. attack against Roman Reigns has to be, no, it must be, to try to take away one of his weapons. If an opponent could beat on an arm or a leg, it could take away some of that awesome power that Reigns uses to annihilate opponents from pillar to post. Spear. Unbelievable move by Roman Reigns. He slows <laughs> it down. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Looks like somebody walks back in this match. I think when you look at Randy Orton, being that he is a veteran in the ring, doesn't mean he is oh. without. Weaknesses. The problem is, like once they're again. they rarely resurface. But first things first, you have to find the weakness. Oh, you're right. The apex predator has the ability to learn from his mistakes and ensure that any weakness that is exposed is quickly adjusted. 
method for it. And that makes him one of the premier superstars of the WWE. Oh, now, and he gets Great the shot. It's been some night here on Friday Night SmackDown, and we're still rolling. What's this? Dean Ambrose is in now. Smart choice. And now he's back out on the apron. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Well, we all know that Triple H is a very private person. Oh, Triple H is busted open. When they try to use his family as a bargaining chip. It doesn't end very well for him. Dean Ambrose is an absolute master at playing mind games. <laughs> he tried to go after after uh, Batista. Oh, like he's in for the step steps. He's in no man's land now. You know, we'd like to know more about Dean Ambrose, Michael. Whether he's in a WWE ring or on a rare day off from sports entertainment, Ambrose looks to defy danger. He's in a bad part of town. Looks like we're going back inside. And I think he's begging him to bring it. What a reversal. Woo, a little showboating going on here. Oh, and nails him. Dean Ambrose is an absolute master of playing mind games. Look, we don't know what Dean Ambrose is going to do uh -oh. next. And you have a strategy? For anyone going up against Dean Ambrose, you have to be ready for anything. <laughs> they all join in in the fight. what Dean Ambrose can do to an opponent during a match. Out at one. And he finally gets out of the ring. And that one hit with the force of a big rig. Uh oh. Not allowing Batista oh, to no. damage on you. Move after move after move to be the only way to have a chance. I mean, he just dirty deeds. He's choking him out. I don't know how he can counter this. I don't know how he's going to get out of this here. Oh, he's got to do whatever he can here to try to break this hole. And he finally gets out of the ring. Uh-oh, Triple H is tagged in. Oh, and now the toll of this very physical contest is beginning to show on his body. After all these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Oh! He desperately, desperately needs to make a tag here. They're in trouble now. Just wailing on him. Seth Rollins is back in. And he gets out of the way. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble and quickly. 
Oh, spine buster. You know what's coming after that. Dirty deeds. <laughs> hey now, that landed like a ton of bricks. Triple H is in trouble now. Triple Rope break. Easy kick out there. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. No, pedigree, pedigree. Oh, oh, evolution wins. What a match! It was close, but evolution ultimately wins that match, and that brings this show to a close. I want to thank you for watching today. Real Talk Radio, I was your host, Pat. I was back Tuesday for Grand Theft Auto 5, right here on DLive, Twitch, and YouTube. See you next time. Have a lovely Labor Day weekend. Be well out there, and I will see you again. Thanks for watching. And thanks for following Real Talk Radio. Here are your winners, Triple H. Randy Orton and Batista. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life. <laughs>